number 21 of 1500. Hello, thank you for watching. First things first, we do have a Twitter, follow us there, and we also have an Instagram, and we will be doing something very special with our Instagram, I will explain later. Facebook is too, is up and running, and follow us right here if you're watching on YouTube, if you are watching on our website, www.allsapiens.com. Thank you so much, you are an absolute superstar for watching it there. We have a discuss feed, so we can post kind of relevant kind of data and information, more lengthy, lengthy, lengthy discussions. But first thing, these are my paintings. So now, part four, can't stop the trump. A little, a little bit, a little bit more. This time, almost like a summary, I'll try to summarize. Number one, historical amnesia about what presidents are really like. One does not have to be a saint or exhibit exemplary character, you know, to be an effective dynamic leader, right? In fact, dynamism and a dynamic and effective leader probably requires the opposite. Number two, number two, let's look at this as authenticity. Authenticity. The people who have been proven to be the most informed and the least bigoted are surprisingly the so-called deplorables. Yes, we prefer an authentic bad boy to a, to a disingenuous good girl, right? We prefer an authentic bad boy to a disingenuous good girl. Switch the genders if you want. No pretensions, okay? No need to change accents, okay? The love shown through our workers and our farms and and big beautiful coal something simple like that it's true empathy there's no contempt there's no 47 percent of this and there's no look at those people every day when fly out of the country no 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 there's no there's no sneering no jeering no contempt it's just love for the other it's love by neighbor love your own and love real love like not the force oh do i have to it's kind of like no we're in this together. And number three, number three, you, you can't have a sovereign nation unless you have secure borders and sensible immigration. Come on, people. Come on, people. You know, sensible immigration, meaning one that is L-E-G-A-L, -E legal. Say it again. Legal, not illegal, but legal, measured, and meritocratic. Legal, measured, and meritocratic. And I will even add evidence of cultural fit. Yes. Yes, I said it. Cultural fit, right? Yes, I said it. Cultural fit because they have to fit. They have to fit. Otherwise, no. Otherwise, some people will throw a fit. Then we, us, and probably them first. You know, you have to have cultural fit. That's number three. Number four, disaster-prone asymmetric geopolitics, right? A decade of disaster-prone asymmetric geopolitics. Did I say a decade? Make that two, 20 years, especially with regards to defense policy and global trade. You're losing. Look after your own is how successful nations navigate foreign policy. Use it, okay? So it's high time we're in, high time we, high time, high time we rein in all these bad deals all over the place. Number five, national policy bringing back the time on a social civic ethic of, let's just say, Edmund Burke conservatism, right? The, the, Conservative and not conservatism, but you know, just things that leave well enough for known. It's it's just nice. It's fine. It's nice to be nice. Don't need to be angry all the time like this. You know, the type favoured by minorities. Yes, minorities. People who came from very very conservative countries. Minorities and pretty much everyone with the constrained vision. You know, not the angry vision. Okay. His maverick style is number six. Number six, his maverick style was indeed necessary to expose the hypocrisy and establishment kind of pretending to be exemplars but in truth shown up to be calculating self-interested sellouts. Yeah, there's the majority radical globalist leftists, elites, right? Establishment. You know, that's number six, right? The moral veneer is just that a veneer. It's a veneer. Preach X but do Y. It's a veneer. We know this. You know, like like just clerics, you know, old school kind of clergy style, you know. Number seven, alright, alright, uh, let's go to number seven. Okay. Alright, alright, it's no accident that he, being born rich, extended his wealth. He extended it, okay? He didn't lap sit, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't relax and take it on and take it for granted. He extended his wealth, right? In the real economy, right? 
I think it looked kind of weird, not F-I-R-E, not really, yeah, the real economy, the real, real economy, there was a physical product, it wasn't just numbers and intangibles and, and you know, it, yes, there's a lot of that which is just for show, just for his name, just, just as a big gap in value, that the, the market, what it is and what it is, what the, the Trump brand is, but that's, that's the American dream, that's, that's marketing, it's value, it's, it's, it's an intangible, it's, it's, it's a dream, it's, it's a fantasy, it's, it's the show. You want that. You want that. Making money, real money for other people. The people who work there all love them. All the black, brown minority. Mostly people like me. They love it. We love it. Working class people. Absolutely adore them. It's the hate. It's classism. It's class hatred. It's, it's not, not, it's just not good. It's not great. It's, it's actually really, really, really horrible and disgusting, right? And that's just all number seven. Number seven is. You know, it's 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 it's, it's through dealing with ordinary people like me, adding value and wealth, building real things, real things, real wages, and and not stuck forever in the out of touch world of wealth. You know, it's by way of finance and law and tech and media bubbles like this that his average adversaries were from, right? From these these tiny little bubbles where they take themselves way too seriously and things aren't really really that hard to do. It's just like the luck and. A little bit of humility would do, you know? Which is ironic coming from Trump, but you know. They 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 they, they sort of lecturing, lecturing, lecturing on us, you know, and punching down. Yeah, punching down. But he knew what he truly cared about, right? That's all that's all I wrap it up. That's all that's all I'm a seven. Let's so we go for eight, let's go for eight. Eight will be okay, that's alright, I get it. Oh okay, yeah, that's that's why lower class, especially lower class minorities like me will love him, right? He understands us. He understands. He understands them too. I'm not talking about the ones who want everything done to them, for them, and given, given, given handouts, and not the not the insecure kind of inferiority kind of people. Like, oh, please, sir, not the Nisha's kind of slave mentality. No, I'm talking about the ambitious, you know, the uh, adventurous, the enterprising, the the smart, the competent, the confident. You know, that's why we love him. We understands us, and he understands. We understand him too. You know. He, he, the, 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 the them in question have been statistically proving to understand a little. You know, I'm talking about them, those kind of people who write for those kind of organizations and say the same thing. You can even predict what they're going to say. It's just, it's just almost like stop, copy, paste. It's like, all right, all right, those people, let's, let's, let's discuss them now. You know, they're statistically proving to understand very, very, very little about their own sense of superiority. Trump took all the threats. All of them to, to our livelihoods very 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 seriously he from security you know from security to social dysfunction and economic malaise he took these absolutely absolutely seriously right to to criminal immigration criminal immigration not immigration criminal and mass immigration and negligent global dealings negligent global dealings it was a complete catastrophe for the establishment for two decades oh my god just just to not fit to rule like like just Sheer, sheer, sheer incompetence. You know, number nine, let's go. Number nine, this might be the very last number nine. Maybe I'll add a few more, but as a, as a case study, all this, this is this just, just more evidence that the best position to be is an insider slash outsider. One foot in and one foot out, you know. That I was one of them, but they never truly accepted me. That, 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 that much is crucial. All the greats felt this status anxiety at some point, you know, but that's the sweet spot where you can become a visionary, you see everything, you're like an eagle standing atop. You can predict where the rabbit will go, you can predict what's going to happen and then you come and just swoop in and take it for your own. You know, you are beautiful, majestic, you're original, you're strong, you're an apex predator. The only trouble is that the personal told the text because no one, no one, no one will want you, want to, want to understand you. No one will want to understand you, it's the one. They want, want to understand you, you offend their beliefs, they shouldn't they think they think they shouldn't know you they shouldn't understand you because they take themselves far too seriously they take the group too seriously but they don't take they don't take good, good truth and beauty seriously right they don't they they they're not looking up at the eagles right they're not looking up they're not looking up they don't see the beauty right right they don't so the only trouble is the personal toll it takes because no one will want to understand you until you're long gone that's the tragic hero indeed. The tragic hero indeed, right? So, tribalism over you know, tribalism over objective truth, and you're, you're damned if you ever use philosophy, logic, or the scientific method to pierce through the inherent nonsense in everything the elite say and say you are. 
and demand and punch down and and use the way they like to think and they like to control people and you and they they mm, it gets nasty now, doesn't it? And entertainer. Oh yeah, oh yeah, an entertainer and a, a real pragmatist who bizarrely bizarrely knows the, the real job of a leader better than those who use it as a career. Right? One is a career, you're in this you, you want for the rest of your life and you want you wanna keep doing this and so you have to avoid some things that avoid you what? Like, what are you doing then? If you know, are you in there for a career, or are you in it to make things better, make America great again? Who? What are you doing then? Just ignore these people. You know, historical amnesia. Yeah, the inauthenticity, inauthenticity, inauthenticity. Did I say it right? Yeah, the inauthenticity with his unashamed realness, his maverick star was indeed necessary to expose the hypocrisy of the establishment. That's why us lower castes, especially lower caste minorities, all love him. You know, he understands us. He understands them. He understands us. He understands them. He understands them too. You know, he is our tragic, tragic hero and a case study. This is one. This is a great one. You know, you know, I'm. And it's 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 honourable when honourable and decent men like McCain and Romney are reflexively dubbed racist simply for opposing democratic policies. You know, the result is GOP electorate that doesn't listen to admonitions when the genuine article in the mess. It's the boy who cried wolf, and it's, it's just just it's a whole mess. It is. It is. It's a it's a it's a, it's a whole mess, and we've known all along and. And it's, it's, I don't know how these people can get it so wrong and still have the, just the weird sense of arrogance. Like, imagine knowing nothing and just being so cocksure. You know, there are, you know, there are, there are, there are journalists. There are, there are journalists and there are politicians, ten a penny, but so few leaders, once in a generation, if that, if many. So he is our tragic hero, you know, 99.9% globally kind of kind of kind of reality you're thinking of people who know no no exactly know what he's trying to say and, and you've got this tiny little smug arrogant elitist leftist who just necessarily can't know what's going on they just can't know it's not it's they would be crushed absolutely crushed absolutely shattered if they actually know what people really think you know this is the illuminating scene that awaits those who can accurately locate and erase most of the career attacks from the postmodern collage you know only then will their full picture start to appear bold and clear yeah, what a beautiful work of art you indeed is Trumponomics, right? When you aren't trained in playing politics, you aren't trained in playing it for real, so you somehow end up doing real politics. For real. And that's 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 real talk. Trump is first and foremost an entertainer, remember that, right? And it's his job of figuring out what the crowd wants, what the crowd needs, you know, instead of leftists forcing you to talk about patent nonsense instead of real concerns, right? Real concerns. That's what we are concerned about, you know. Always, 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 you know. Exactly. So, so like, it's like, stop calling uh, most of your country the most disgusting things under the dictionary. It's not good. You know, we're, 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 we're way more concerned about about the things that are actually important. You know, does, you know, does the individual have the right to dissent? Like, uh, like, live in a place where the individual has the right to speak up? And I think most people say yes. And I, you can't control what people think. You, can't control what people think. You're, you're not fully, fully human until you're able to think, right? You're not fully until you're fighting for your your need to to exist and think things through. Right? And that's it gets very, very dark and very totalitarian with these people. You know, we know that. We know that. We've seen it before. So just watch out, watch out. But always speak what you think. You know, massive ideologues. You know, but then they're just totally, totally, totally loyal to their party, not loyal to the. The discovery of something real, something true. You know, stop making people, stop making people I hate others. Stop making people suicidal. Stop telling people that they're going to be killed. And stop terrifying children. Stop giving racism free advertising. Stop trying to convince Americans that all other Americans hate them. Stop, 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 stop. And welcome to the real world. Stop it, okay? Get out of your little bubble, okay? You know? It's absolutely insane, you know? It is, it's, 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 it's crazy, but it, when you're looking like an eagle can see all the mess downstairs, right? You know? It's just, it's, 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 in a way, it's kind of twisted, it's kind of a little bit funny, but no, it's serious, and they don't take things seriously enough, right? It's like, I mean, it, it, just look at it, if, if policy, 
Okay, let me think this through. So that you need to attack people in public and make them watch. Okay, here, here we go, here we go. So, so he came out of nowhere, right? Trump came out of absolute nowhere. No, he knew. You said he said 20 years ago he would do this. You knew that. You knew that. You knew that. But you make fun of him. You, mo- you mocked him until things got, things got so bad. When he kept messing up, you messed up. You messed up so many things. Everything, everything. I've already explained everything that the, the establishment just completely cocked it up. Cocked it up. And then didn't have this good grace to own up to it like just own up own up own up you know so like coming out of somewhere not nowhere to kind of completely schlong 16 experienced politicians including the bush family what what two got two 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 presidents two governors a whole freaking family he pushed over the overton window further than anyone in our lifetime and now he won he won with what you didn't know but we knew all the time because we have very very diverse circles you see you know and all this with the entire media the entire internet the entire establishment of every all parties acting in coordinated fashion to destroy him literally destroy him and despite all that we still have loser commentators insinuating and belittling everything you know i mean there's there's alpha and there's like there's 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 just there's you're making him even more alpha than he is he's not that clever but you're just really really that stupid because you need to be stupid because you don't want to know what's going on you just don't want to know you don't want to know he's not a freaking genius he kind of locked that in most respects because you guys left him you let him you let him just mug you off because he's an entertainer and, and like you let him you let him entertain you, right? Because you see this as entertainment. You don't take it seriously enough, you know? You know? You know? You don't, you don't, you know? You know? The poorest of the poor. The poorest of the poor continue to have their bargaining power on the labor eroded, right? No wonder some people prefer to opt out and favor a life of welfare. This is, this is, this is, this is an infinite number of illegal migrants flooding into the countries, right? So, 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 so making the whole concept of a country null, no, right? I mean, for what good is a nation without borders, differentiation, citizenship, and rule of law? You know, it's a, it's, a, it's a wonder that people in towns unperturbed by the issues are still willing to speak to speak the truth with a solid show of character and civic nationhood, civil nationhood, right? 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 You remember, when you used to be the party of people making 50 to 150,000 a year, with the, what do we call them? What, the lower middle class in English terms, just middle class and upper middle class, you know, but, but Tetris, you know, yeah, class. It's like it's class. It's class. It is. It's often class to try and make it about race or something we don't care about. You know, it's class. You know, I'm actually not even sure that when it comes to some of the social stuff that you know the flyover middle America are actually that backwards. No, they're not. You know, it's a kind of a conservative libert- libert- libertarian kind of ethos of leave us alone. Let alone. Leave us alone. You know, want to be left alone. It's like when we do you, you do you, we'll do us. Not this kind of nannying, top down, awful Terry, Puritan kind of radical leftist communist chic. You know, there's something very creepy with that, you know? It's it's a, it's a the cliche controlled mind, you know. The, 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 the center has to hold here, you know. The center has to hold here, you know, you know, and it's like the center of that used to be a threat, but why hate, you know, why hate him? Because he's not really a white winger, he's not right winger, he's been liberal his whole life, a social liberal New Yorker, come on, please, he's hardly right wing. Well, actually, they hate him because he's the guy who says the obvious things, he says the obvious, obvious, obvious things they avoid. And he says that in public. He says that in public, the public notice, and they're annoyed. They are annoyed at him for that, right? The, the public and I was like, whatever, whatever the issue is, like, is one question at the core of the issue that no one ever, ever asks about because they don't know the answer. They don't know how to get the answer. They don't ask the right question because they don't want to hear the answer. They don't want to hear the answer. The only answer is against their beliefs. Here it is. It's the word again. Belief, belief, belief. Belief, no, no. Put facts ahead of belief. Put truth ahead of belief. Put facts ahead of ahead of your own subjective feelings, your own subjective values. There's a unified value which we all agree on, and that's the objective truth, okay? And un- unanswerable, in some cases, they expose the mediocrity of the ruling class. You, the establishment. You know who they are. We don't, we don't know what they're doing. They don't know. They don't know. Now we know what they're doing. What they're doing. They, now we know. Now we know. Now we know that they don't know what they're doing. Some of us are already already knew. That's why we ignore the nonsense, hyperventilating in public because it's clearly clearly clear, clear, clear nonsense. Okay. It really is. You know. You know. The great awakening began a long time ago. It began during the second Obama administration. Predates Trump, right? Trump can really be seen as being caused by it and not a cause of it. The problem is that led to Trump's ascent to unaddressed is the middle class. It's the middle class. No more, no more, no more name and cleaning. No more name, name, name and calling. It's what it is, you know? 
and we recognise this. Curious how a man like Trump, who never ever mentioned whites as such, or defends them, right? Never defends white people's interests, you know, accused of defending interests of a specific group. How? By, by the people who write for a living, doing this very same thing, that is a very definition of projection. They do the very same thing they project on towards Trump in the interests of a specific group. Okay, now for the difficult part. That was difficult, but this is difficult in, in another way. So every day I will, I will endeavor to post a, a video of my, my thoughts, my, my, my paintings and my perspectives, or other people's perspectives, not just mine. This is all, 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 all collage of thoughts. I will do one a day. If it, takes, if it takes longer than expected, I might even post two or three a day, just so I can get the 1,500 of them done, maybe over 300, 400 maybe paintings. It's, it's all ideas, aesthetics, it's all people, it's things that are, are, are people find interesting, people find fascinating. Not necessarily I find interesting or fascinating, but they are for some and that, that is enough. So I, I want, I need to fund this and this is the way I'm funding it this way. The yellow, the pink, the white, the black, the grey you see me wearing, you can wear that or more. I have 15 different colours, we have 15 colours on the website, I hope you're watching on the website, you can just, you can, you can buy now, here and here and here and everything is, is just very straightforward uh, and also it will, it will show the community of people who do like to think, the community of curious, curious, curious people who don't, who don't take themselves too seriously, but take beauty ideas and other people's perspectives very seriously. And it's it's just, it's wonderful to have this community. So I will I will post on Instagram some of you who want to be posted on the Instagram. So you get a bit of Insta fame. That's if you when you buy the t-shirts upon points of sale, I will get into contact and say, hey, would you like to be featured on our Instagram? And we have a whole list of the community. It's, it's just a wonderful thing. And thank you for supporting. And here is the link. And thank you so much.